Undeterred, Henry was soon back honeymooning at Hampton Court with Catherine Howard, wife number five. Beautiful but naive, Catherine was powerless to resist the king's advances. Of course, she was a teenager when she married the aging Henry VIII, so it certainly wasn't a love match for her. But Henry VIII couldn't keep his hands off Catherine Howard. He adored her. He was always sort of petting her in public, and he was devastated. I think he was genuinely heartbroken when one of his ministers dared whisper to him that his young wife had been unfaithful, and they presented irrefutable proof of Catherine's infidelity. One morning, Henry entered the Chapel Royal at Hampton Court to find a letter detailing Catherine's liaisons with other men. She was confined to her room, and in the great watching chamber, it was announced that she was sentenced to death. Legend has it that Catherine broke free and ran down the processional chamber, screaming for mercy. Her protests were in vain she could not reach the king. Catherine Howard had been taken up the river to the tower and she would have passed underneath the heads of her lovers which were on spikes. They'd been beheaded, their heads parboiled and tarred and put there and she would have seen that grisly sight as she went to her certain death. The night before she was executed, the accounts say that she experimented with putting her head on that block, rehearsed that moment when she would go to her death at nine the following morning. Five wives down, Henry locks himself away in his rooms at Hampton Court for days on end. He starts mixing homemade remedies from the palace herb garden to try and cure the wound on his festering leg. After Catherine Howard was executed, Henry really goes on a bit of a downer. And after this, he suffers a period of depression in 1541 and is confined at Hampton Court. 